Daisy touch. Yeah. And she kept a secret. Yeah. Isn't this exciting that everybody's here? Okay. Well, we haven't been out here for a while. So I'm going to tell everybody a little bit about Daisy. And so the family can know too. Daisy was an award that was started about 20 years ago now by the family of Patrick Barnes. Patrick um, was a 33-year-old gentleman who, sadly, after six weeks of complications with type B, passed away in a Seattle hospital. And his family during that six weeks were expecting nurses to be smart, competent, do all the work that they did. But what touched their heart was how compassionate the nurses were. So after Patrick passed away, the family got together one night, they tell the story over a liquid dinner, um, and thought, how can we honor the nurses for their compassion? So they came up with the DAISY Award, Diseases Attacking the Autoimmune System, and they thought it would be a local award just in the Seattle area, but it is now an award that is given to compassionate nurses throughout the United States and internationally. And we only give one a month, so 12 a year. <clears throat> Britman, today is your turn. Would you guys like me to read the why, or do you want to? Sure. Okay. So, this I think was written by a family member of a patient, if I remember correctly. Yes. Um, Britlin is in the right profession. She has a warm, caring smile and is sensitive to cares, needs, and concerns. As a caretaker, she never changes her demeanor at any time and is very easy to talk to. She explains any question one might have. It was a big comfort to me as a caregiver to know he was in good hands. The best! Exclamation mark. Always comes and goes with a big warm smile. She is a diamond in the rough and an angel. She deserves a big recognition and a huge pat on the back. She even insisted on buying me lunch one day when I was in the cafeteria. She was insistent and persistent. What a compassionate young lady. Always wears a smile. Ed says, thank you very much for the great foot rub. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of things in there. But mainly compassionate and that great smile. So very much well deserved. All right, the great thing about Daisy is it comes with prizes. So you get this great Daisy bag. And then you're going to have a banner that's going to have your name on Banners it. Banners up front here. Okay. Um, for a month. For you. And you get this portfolio that is signed by the Barnes family and myself. Four East is the only place that has a nice little table for it. <laughs> Kleenex partners with Daisy, because usually there's never a dry eye in the place. <laughs> you get to wear this Daisy pin. Be a member of the Daisy Club, so wear that proudly. Daisies. And then what I think, um, well, before I get to this, there should be cinnamon rolls, too. They're in the back. In the back. <laughs> so the story about the cinnamon rolls is when Patrick could still eat um, and able to take down food, his dad one day brought, you know, those big ooey-gooey cinnamon rolls from the um, malls, and dad was going to eat it himself, brought it in for himself, and Patrick said, ooh, that looks really good. I'd like to have a bite, proceeded to eat the whole thing, and said, dad, why don't you bring those every day for me and the nurses? So we don't have Cinnabons, but we have high V, and they're <laughs> equally as good. And But what the Barnes family has learned over the years of going out and giving this award is that almost every nurse, without skipping a beat, says, it's just my job, when she hears about getting the he or she hears about getting the daisy. So the Barnes family wants nurses to know that it's so much more than just doing your job. So they say every time you cook with cinnamon, smell cinnamon, taste cinnamon, think about how special you are. So there's cinnamon rolls, and then there's a statue called the Healer's Touch, and this is handmade by artists in Zimbabwe, and the healers are very important in their culture. So they feel very honored for that reason and for all the DAISY recipients to handmake these awards, and um, it also helps to feed many families in this impoverished nation. So. What would you like to say, Brilliant? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And you should also feel very honored because um, there are not many LPNs that have received this award. So, so that's equally important for you. So another round of applause.